Hi. Hi. Come on in. I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Tip one. Always shake hands, smile and look confident when entering the room. Nice to meet you. Alejandra's outfit is conservative and appropriate. Black shirt, blue blazer and conservative makeup are all smart choices for a first interview. Thanks for coming in. You can have a seat. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, my pleasure. You found the office okay? Yes, everything was great. Thank great. you. Yeah. Um, so we have your resume on file. Tip 2. Eye contact, friendliness and a warm first impression go a long way. Be friendly. And we've taken a look at it. What I want to do today is go over um, basically your experience and, and verify some of the information and, and answer any questions you might have today sure. too. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, why don't we start out by just telling me a little bit about yourself. Tip 3. Tell me about yourself is a typical first question. Focus on your strengths, how you match what the position asks you, and why you want the job. Well, I'm 21 years old. I just graduated from Universidad del Norte. My major was international business, and I did a focus in marketing. Okay. Um, I think that I'm a very communicative person. I'm very responsible. I'm very disciplined. I think one of my biggest traits is that I tend to be very inspired and very easily. So I really don't need like a creative environment to be inspired and I think that's something that would add a lot to your company and to your organization. I also think that your leadership philosophy, it's very good. And I also think that my calmness in a situation of maybe stress mm -hmm. is something that plays very good with my uh, well, it played very good with my classmates, and I think that it also would play very good with my work partners. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Thank you very much. Um, well, you talked a little bit about leadership. My next question is about leadership. Can you tell us or tell me when uh, you've shown leadership in the past year? Sure. Uh, well, I'm thinking... Tip four. Tell me about a time when... When you hear these magic words, think example and think star, as in situation, task, action, results. Always tell us the results of your example and be specific. Alexandra did a great job with this answer. Well, actually, my last semester in the university, I volunteered for something like an orientation session for upcoming students. So basically, what I did was volunteer and I did like a little interview and I got accepted. And so they told me that I would have to come two days to the university. It was a Friday and a Saturday. And they told me that I would get assigned a group of like 15 um, international business students. And I would have to take them through the university, talk to them about the, the program, and also mm -hmm. like show them just like the basics of uh, campus life and things like that. So I was very excited. But as I was also very nervous because it was my first time doing the orientation session. But they told me that I was going to have a partner. So I was maybe a little more relaxed because he would know what things to do, what things to say. But the day before the actual session, they called me and they said, like, your partner, your partner is sick, so you would have to do this alone. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I was very nervous. Mm -hmm. I almost told them, like, I can do it. Please assign someone else. But in the end, I end up going. I talked to the 15 students. There were actually, like, 18 students. And I talk to them about the university, I talk to them about my program. And actually what came out of that experience was that I ended up rem reminding myself what I like about my program. I reminded myself what I liked about studying international business. That can be something that you maybe forget in the middle of the stress of exams and things like that. So I actually think that I did a very good job with all of them. We actually became even friends. And now when I see them throughout campus, I say hi, and they, they often tell me that they had a really good experience and I made university uh, maybe a little bit better for them, or even the first week of university. That's great. That's, uh, it's amazing how, how often when you help or you lead a group that doesn't know anybody how much they remember that yes like, and they continue to say hi and, they know. do and they appreciate it a lot great great um, I'm glad that was a success for you okay so then my next question is about a mistake that you've made um, can you tell us about a time where you made a mistake and what you learned from that experience tip five 
a mistake, failure, error, or any other negative example question isn't a trick question. Tell us briefly what you did and what you learned from it. Don't dwell on the mistake or make excuses. And never reply with, I don't make mistakes or I've never made mistakes. Sure. Well, the mistake that comes up to my mind right now is actually one that happened also during the last semesters of university. Um, I was going through a finance course and I was very excited to take this course because my earlier semesters in finance weren't really that great, like I thought that I could do better and uh, I was very excited to take the course. So I got in and the professor was really good but I didn't really know any of my classmates so I was very nervous for that at the beginning because you know that in university it's all about having very strong groups and almost all the works are in groups. Sure. So, but I was okay, I studied for my assignments, I did everything, but the time for the first test was coming up. And so the material in the, in the course was very extended. So I studied, I tried my best, I knew the formulas, I felt very confident going into the first exam. And then when I got there, the professor told us, okay, so uh, choose a pair, you're going to do this test in groups. Oh, wow. And so I was very nervous because I didn't really know anyone in the course and everyone seemed to be friends with each other. And so I was, I was left alone and I saw that there was someone else like on a corner also looking for a partner. But this person, I realized that during the course, wasn't very active. Like when the professor asked questions, he didn't really answer them. And so I made the mistake of telling the professor if I could do the test by myself. And so I did the test by myself and with that decision I also made him do the test by himself because he didn't have a, another partner. Right. <coughs> and what I learned from this is that, well, even though I got a, a good grade, it was a decent grade, but I did make some mistakes that I know that if I had a partner, that partner would be able to recognize them. And I, I just made a, a, an early judgment. I know that those mistakes were, were very easy to recognize. They were basic like arithmetic mistakes. Mm -hmm. So I, was, I regretted that a lot. And I think that the lesson behind it is um, there is always someone that is going to know something that you don't. Mm -hmm. And you can judge it book by its cover. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sometimes um, you know we feel like we've we've made up our minds, but it's good to give someone a chance. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, so, sounds like you learned from that experience, and that's the most important thing. Okay, um, a couple more questions. Where um, where do you see yourself in five years after um, you're graduating? Soon after you graduate, and you look for a job, um, can you kind of project where you see your your career going? Well. I know that you have like a very strong um, perception or a very strong belief about empowering your employees and also like make them, making them grow within your company. So in five years I would like to see myself being um, a leader in your company. I would also like to see myself considering or maybe beginning an MBA program. Okay. And I would like to grow personally and also professionally. Great. Um, and then what do you know about us? What have you learned? Well, or, or, yes, no. I've learned a lot about your company. I think that Sparta Consulting Group is a great firm to start with. Um, with the job ad, I could perceive that you have a very family environment. You like to empower your employees, like I mentioned before. Tip six. Alexandra has obviously done her research on the company and has a lot to share. Employers like to hear that and we will remember that about her. I really like that your CEO was actually a basketball player. Mm -hmm. So he has like a whole basketball team leadership philosophy. And I just think that it's a very good workplace and work environment. Great. Um, well, thanks a lot for coming in. Thank and, you. And uh, we'll be in touch in the next few days. Okay, so do you expect to make like a hiring decision in a few days? Yes, we have interviews, um, Alejandra, this week, and probably by next Monday or Tuesday you'll receive an email. Um, mm -hmm. So just stand, stand by and uh, we'll give you word soon. So I have also before ending a couple of questions, is sure. that okay? Sure. Always have at least one question ready to ask the employer. This is your chance to find out about us. Make the employer talk about their company. 
of course. I was wondering, um, in the job ad, there's not like a, a list of my responsibilities. It is more said that I'm going to have like a tutor or a mentor, but I was wondering if I, I'm going to have any other responsibilities besides like learning from that mentor. Um, it depends on how fast you progress in the company. Usually the first month is kind of our probation period where we put people that have just been hired with somebody to shadow them for a month. And you get to know the company that way. Um, and it's not so much as following around someone and doing their mm -hmm. dirty work. It's more of like learning kind of how things get accomplished. And then after that, we'll, we'll put you out with phone calls. Um, and we also like you to like go out in the community and okay. um, we want to see what strengths you have, your personality. And once we feel comfortable with you, we'll give you more freedom. Okay. And so coming from you, a uh, Spartan Consulting Group employee, like what's the best thing about working for the company from your point of view? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I've been here seven years and I love the competition. Um, I love waking up and knowing that we have a chance to grow our market and grow um, in our community in Florida and also in the southeastern part of the United States. Um, and that's something that drives me. I think it's a young company, it's very diverse. Most of our employees um, have lived abroad or speak two languages or more, and uh, we all have our unique skill set, and I think um, that's what a lot of new and young companies are doing to kind of grow the business and then recruit people like you who have a strong background in Latin America. Okay, well, I look forward from hearing from you. Me too. Thank Great you for to having meet you. Thank you. That's it. You're ready to rock your first interview in English. So go after it.